Hey guys, it's Leg Much here. Here you can see a video by Ninjas and Pajamas, uh, also known as the Blood Dessert. Anyway, he made a really great video on how to make some CSGO clips with different frame rates and some tools and tricks and toys. And good description here. He's got some download links. Um, I suggest you watch this video first before you finish this video and download all of this stuff he's got here for you because it does come into play. Um, really all I'm going to do is show you some tricks and some shortcuts that make the process a little bit easier for some of us that uh, aren't so video editing inclined. Um, anyway, I'm going to start that now, so here we go. All right, so from the first video, you got some links, and I named it CSGO Movie Stuff here. Um, the main thing you're going to need for this tutorial is the movie config. Um, as you can see, it's just a quick little config file. Um, you know, go ahead and extract that out to your desktop so you got it ready here. Um, all the rest of this is relevant to his video, but not so much to mine. Um, the CSGO helper also I found in his posts that uh, for some reason it causes an error when you start up the game. Um, I believe this is a server plugin. This is probably for GoTV. I assume most of you are just using uh, straight demos that you've either downloaded from the watch option in the game or that you've, you know, opened up console and started recording. So go ahead and re just skip this step. Don't use that. You'll get rid of that error. Um, this, of course, I'll show you where this goes a little bit later, and you can see it in the other video. But what I really want to start with here is how to set up two separate Steam accounts. This makes things a lot easier for me anyway. So just go ahead and download your, your Steam and install it. <coughs> Now, when you get to this point right here, this is what you need to know. Um, on my machine, I have multiple hard drives. You may not. I like having multiple hard drives because you know, I've got some solid states that speed things up and it separates it and makes it easier. Um, here I have my actual Steam drive. So this would be my gameplay account, which I've already got installed and I'm already using. So what I want to do is I want to go to a separate account. Um, if I look in uh, my C drive, I've already got one installed. And this is actually where my movie config resides. So for you guys, you're probably are going to see C. Um, if you have a second hard drive, go ahead and browse to that drive and create a Steam folder inside of it. If you only have one hard drive, just go ahead and name a folder Steam 2. Like so. Go ahead and browse to that directory like a disk and just install your second copy of Steam in that location. Okay. So I've already done this on a different hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my, actually in my case it's C, and I'm going to go to my Steam and I'm going to find in the root directory of Steam there's a file and it is called steam.exe. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to send it to my desktop as a shortcut. Now what I've done here is I've created a shortcut to my other Steam account. I've already done that here and I've renamed it Movie Steam, so I'm going to delete this one. And I have my other Steam account right here in my shortcut list, which is my main account. So this is the one you're already going to have and this is the one you want to play your games on and you don't want to mess with it. So now you've got your second install here, okay? Let's see how mine is a little bit backwards from yours, probably. Mine says C because I already had one on my other directory. So with this, what you want to do is go ahead and open this account. <coughs> now, if you don't have a second account set up, you're going to have to go ahead and create it. All right. So we got our movie Steam account opened here. Now, let's go ahead and go over the launch options real quick. This is pretty important. So we're going to go to our library. And, of course, it's updating, but whatever. We're going to click on Properties. And then <coughs> after right-clicking on this, of course, and we're going to do Set Launch Options. Now, in mine, I have minus no vid, and what that does is it gets rid of the CSGO intro video when you first first start it. Now, this is important, this minus insecure. You won't get banned for this, but basically what this does is it allows you to run commands and tools that you couldn't run in-game because they could be considered a hack. Now, this part I found a little really convenient. Um, this is actually supposed to be a plus. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to execute um, the file in his video, which is right here.
and this is just a file that's going to set and change some stuff and, and make it a little bit easier for you when you're trying to record your video but it is important so you should do it so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK with that <coughs> so now that we have our set launch options open we have our second account we can basically go in and start uh, start making our videos and doing what we want to do um, so when I open this up here yeah, I want to launch as soon as it's ready, of course, because, you know, Steam. Alright, now it says file anti cheat, blah blah blah. That's that minus insecure. Go ahead and ignore that. That's fine. That's what we want. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna look at our watch area and in your matches. Now I don't have anything here, and that's because they're in my other account. So what you want to do is after you've downloaded these in your main account by clicking on download and downloaded them all, you're going to want to go ahead and go, now these are here because I already downloaded them and moved them over. But how you do that is you go to your main account, remember mine is on G, you go into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Global Offense, and CSGO, and then you look for replays. Now here's all those files that I've downloaded. So I'm going to control A, right click copy, and then I'm going to go into my other account, which is my C account, which I know is my movie stream. And I'm going to go into the same folder. I'm going to go into replays and I'm going to right click paste. And what that's going to do is put them all in here. So now I'll be able to see them in this directory and I can watch them from here. All right, now from here, it pretty much the other video shows you what to do at this point on how to record and how to use virtual dub and choose some frames and, and get some really nice footage and, and that's okay um, but there is an easier way to do this and I'm gonna go over that real quick so I'm gonna go back to my uh, global offensive thing here oh before I do that I guess I should show you where to put this in case you want to use it uh, this file should go in the same directory as all the other stuff go directory and but it goes in the config file and see so you see it right here so you just gonna drag and drop that there and put it put it there all right <clears throat> now I like to use shadow play shadow play is a nifty little program it allows me to record in 1080p 60 frames which is great on YouTube so I don't need to take all those other steps I'm just not that picky so I'm gonna show you the easier way to record these footage you know after you open them and you get your shot so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my set launch options and I'm gonna remove this plus and I'm gonna put a minus in there basically that just leaves it null so if you want to use it later you can now what that does is that executes this file. So I'm going to tell it to null by putting a minus there. And then I'm going to open up my global offense. Now you notice this time it's going to open in full screen. Um, and I have my shadow play set to record at my gameplay footage. All right. So now I've already moved my demo. I'm going to go over to watch. I'm going to go over to downloaded. Um, I'm going to go down and I'm just going to pick uh, this one right here because I can. So you just click it and click watch demo. Alright, so now the demo's loading up and we're all in here and it's showing all this ugly info on the screen and we want to get rid of that. So to get rid of that, we're just going to type in CL underscore draw and it says only death notices. So we're just going to change that to number one and hit enter in our console. Now what that's going to do is it basically turns off everything but the death notices up at the top right. So if I hit the space bar, I can change some views. I can go into free look. I can look at where this guy's shooting. And this is warm up round. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some deaths here, so I can come over here and get a cool view on it. Oh, look, he died. And then I can space and go back to the guy. Oh, wow, yeah, that was cool. And I've already recorded this because I'm using shadow play. So I'm not actually the main menu here. <clears throat> go ahead and close this down now th there's a lot of creative process in this part you're just going to have to kind of play around with it and figure it out um, if you want to move to a part and use the death cam and go forward to a part where you know is going to happen one death before you can set up your speed set up your view and just kind of hit your death cam until you know it's going to happen and get the shot um, if you want to be in free look, the trick is to get there before the kill, get out of your first person camera view and place the camera and then play the demo player, which is shift F2. I mean, you guys watched first video, you know how to do all of that. So now if I open up my Adobe Premiere, uh, I think 
guys might not be using that, so let's make it simple. And I open up documents. I'm already recording the footage, so I can't show you. But basically, it's going to show everything that I just recorded. It's going to put my video editing software, and I can do with it what I please. Um, I know I went pretty quick over this stuff and kind of slammed you with it, but again, I'm assuming that you're watching the other video that I linked earlier. So enjoy. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. I'll make another video or do whatever I need to do. All right, enjoy.